Before we step through the actual exam process, I want to give you just a quick overview of what you should really expect to get out of these videos. So this course has been put together at what's called a 300 level knowledge exam or a 300 level of training. So that's basically mid grade. So this isn't going to be real basic information. So if you're brand new to SQL Server, a lot of the stuff I talk about over the course of this video series may be a little more advanced than you're ready for. Now, on the flip side of that, if you've got 10, 12 years of experience with SQL Server, a lot of this is going to feel like review information. I want to set that expectation that we're not really looking for intro level, and this isn't the most super advanced level of information either. So this is right in the middle with the goal of covering all the topics that you're going to need for the 70-462 SQL Server 2012 exam. Now I've tried to take these topics, a lot of which are extremely complex, hardcore topics, and break them down so that they're being explained in a way that really anybody that's got maybe six months to a year worth of experience with SQL Server is going to understand. You're also going to see a lot of demonstrations that you can follow along with in your own environment. You can set up a lab under VMware Workstation or under Hyper-V3 on Windows 8 and get a very similar lab configuration and then simply walk through the exact same demonstrations that I'm using. There's not a whole lot of code that you're going to need to get because I'm doing a lot of things with the GUI and then simply scripting them out in the GUI. If you follow along in SQL Server Management Studio, you should see the exact same thing that I'm seeing on my screen, and then you should get very similar or the exact same scripts. The one thing you will need to do is get the AdventureWorks 2012 database from CodePlex that's the sample database that you're going to see in a lot of these videos so that you can get kind of the same schema and the same data that I'm working with. So as part of this process, you're going to get slides that are going to describe all these various topics, as well as the various demos that I've mentioned a couple of times now on how to actually implement what's talked about in the slides. So I'm not just giving you slides and telling you, hey, good luck, go figure it out. Almost all of these videos have some sort of demonstration or sometimes even a couple of them that will help walk you through the process so you can get hands-on experience with these topics. Since a lot of these topics are fairly complex, I don't just want you to be left with just the information from the slides. That's not really a good enough version of the information. It really makes more sense when you see how a lot of this stuff is actually implemented, especially considering how some of these topics work. Now, one thing you're not going to get from this video series is any of the test questions and the answers. When you're taking the Microsoft exams, do not go look at the brain dump sites. I know people can be very tempted to go look at them, but there's a few problems with the brain dump sites. First problem is they're not always right. They get their information from people who have taken the test and who have sold the questions and answers to the brain dump site. Second problem is using a brain dump site is a violation of the license agreement you agree to when you take the Microsoft certification exam. If Microsoft finds out that you used a brain dump site to pass a test, they actually have the ability to revoke all your certifications and prevent you from getting any new ones. Needless to say, not worth it just to get past a certification exam. So I hope you enjoy the series of videos that we've put together for this specific training program. You should hopefully find them very informative and very useful to get you through the training process for the 70-462 exam. Good luck on your SQL Server 70-462 exam, and hope you enjoy the videos.